Rostock. With just under 200,000 inhabitants, Rostock is the most populous city in Mecklenburg Western Pomerania. Big city flair, Hanseatic architecture and a broad cultural scene make the Hanseatic city a real experience for city and culture fans. In addition to former shipyard halls and omnipresent brick Gothic, the oldest university in Northern Europe, 1419, is also located in the Hanseatic city of Rostock. Lighthouse Warnemunde. Day. The lighthouse is located in the northwest of the Hanseatic city of Rostock and was put into operation in 1898. From almost all of Warnemunde you have the opportunity to catch a glimpse of the lighthouse, which is almost 31 meters high. It is located about 200 meters from the sea and offers a magnificent panoramic view of the Baltic Sea, Warnemunde and the harbor entrance. In good weather, the view extends almost 30 kilometers. Under the white lighthouse you will find the teapot. This round building houses restaurants and cafes. Since 1999, the lighthouse is staged at the beginning of the year on the 1st of January by a show with lights, fireworks and music. Shipbuilding and Shipping Museum. More than 12,000 exhibits can be discovered on Germany's largest floating museum. The former cargo ship, Dresden, first set sail in 1958. Under the German flag, it conquered Africa, Asia and Latin America. After more than 10 years at sea, the ship was converted into a shipbuilding museum in 1970. Weighing nearly 10,000 tons, the freighter tells the story of its development, maritime aviation and marine radio. A pleasure for the whole family is the mini port facility. Young and old captains can test their seafaring skills there. Small ship models can be steered across the water by remote control. Rostock Heath. The contiguous forest area along the Baltic Sea coast provides for some recreation. With a total area of 6,000 hectares, the Rostock Heath represents Germany's largest coastal forest. Here you can actively experience nature and relax. Fresh sea air, fine sandy beaches and quiet forests provide an incomparable nature experience. More than 60 kilometers of signposted paths lead through varied landscapes with pine forests, moors and lakes. By bike or with a long walk, the wide variety of fauna and flora of the Rostock Heath can be explored. Edward Munch House. In 1907-1908 the house, Amstrom 53, housed the Norwegian painter Edward Munch. The painter is known for his expressionist work The Scream. Tormented by depression, Munch spent his deep life crisis in this house. In 1990, the simple fisherman's house, which dates back to the 17th century, was listed as a historical monument. With the help of donations, the house was renovated in accordance with the preservation order and serves as a cultural meeting place. Exhibitions of modern art are presented to the public. The house serves as a studio for artists, forum and stage. Kropelina Street. The Kropelina Gate and the Neue Markt form the two endpoints of today's main shopping street. The street is known for its gabled houses, some of which have been faithfully restored. Different style epochs including Renaissance, Brick Gothic, Baroque and Postmodern are combined. In 1968, the street was converted into a pedestrian zone, one of the first in the GDR. Numerous cafes, restaurants and over 250 stores offer the opportunity to stroll and wander. The Kropelina Gate, a Gothic brick structure built as a fortification in the 13th and 14th centuries, measures almost 54 meters in height. Its enormous size is meant to convey the importance of the Hanseatic city of Rostock. A streetcar line ran through the gate until 1960. Rostock Zoo. Founded in 1899, the zoo covers 56 hectares in the Barnstorff Forest. The zoo houses more than 4,000 animals from over 300 different species, making it the largest zoo in northern Germany. In 2015, Rostock Zoo, in the category up to 1 million visitors, was named the best in Europe. It received high marks especially for the high quality of its enclosures and animal houses, its vegetation and its diverse educational offerings. From monkeys and giant tortoises to polar bears and crocodiles, there are animals from all over the world to marvel it at the zoo. A special highlight is the Darwinium. The Living Museum houses more than 80 different animal species and offers interactive exhibition areas for visitors to touch and participate in. With a petting enclosure, the South America House, a bear castle, the crocodile house and an aquarium, there is everything there is to see in terms of animal worlds. St. Mary's Church. 
The Evangelical Lutheran Church is a major work of North German brick Gothic architecture. Construction of the three-nave basilica began in 1290 and was completed in the mid-15th century. It is one of the four main churches in the Hanseatic city of Rostock and the tower reaches a height of almost 86 meters. Next to the Nikolai Church, the basilica has the richest preserved furnishings in the Baltic region. Clockworks were first used in larger churches at the beginning of the 14th century. Connected to the bells located in the church tower, the astronomical clock gave dominion over the timekeeping. The clock face measures 14 square meters and has been in use since 1472, largely unchanged. Warnermunday Fish Market At all times of the year, the Warnermunday Fish Market offers freshly caught fish, whether eel, herring or cod. Store after store line up behind the historic swing bridge on the middle pier. Especially in the early morning hours the fish market enchants with its charm. At this time, fishing boats arrive with fresh fish from the Baltic Sea, which can be bought directly from the ship. At the landing stages at the Altarstrom, there are numerous stalls with a wide range of local fish. Coupled with the smell of seasonal fresh fish, your mouth will water. Those who prefer a quiet visit should try their luck during the week in the early morning hours. Kirkhoff House Behind the town hall is one of the most beautiful and oldest houses in Rostock. In 1470 the late Gothic Gable House was built by order of the Mayor Kirkhoff. The Kirkhoff family lived in this building for over 125 years. As councillors and mayors, they had a strong influence on the events of the city. The gable of the house was decorated with seven blinds. The Gothic facade was remodeled at the beginning of the 16th century with terracotta tiles and tiles in the Renaissance style. Thus, it is one of the first buildings in the Hanseatic city of Rostock where ornaments in the Renaissance style were used. The colorful terracotta tiles show warrior heads, D-fline and an unclothed man with shield and sword. In 1907, the Kirchhoff house was thoroughly renovated. Since then, it has housed the registry office and the city archives. Around 900 couples a year say, I do, in the beautiful gabled house. Eager Park Rostock the 100-hectare park is located on the banks of the Warno River. This was created in the course of the International Horticultural Exhibition 2003. The natural, existing structures of the lowland area were taken into account and included in the planning. Old brooks and watercourses characterize the green landscape of the park. The park can be divided into three main areas, the western part at the exhibition grounds, the central green park area and the artistic riparian edge towards the Warno River. All year round the park, which surrounds the Maritime Museum, offers versatile programs. With all its streams, flowers and a small beach, the park combines nature and culture. Seasonal planting provides a multifaceted face that is always changing with the seasons. Open-air festivals, folk festivals and numerous exhibitions are waiting in the park. For relaxing hours alone, or with the family, the park offers opportunities for everyone to relax. The spacious green areas are also a good opportunity for sports enthusiasts. The fitness trail or the barefoot path provide an unforgettable experience. The Hanseatic city of Rostock offers a varied program for all travelers. Whether romantic walks along the harbor with your loved one, or interactive museums with the whole family, the city on the Baltic Sea is worth a visit all year round. The Rostock Heath is perfect for extensive hikes and bike tours to clear your head. Culture enthusiasts also get their money's worth due to the interesting history of the port city. Especially in the summer months, mild temperatures ensure a pleasant experience of the city.